Hey everyone, so the tadpoles at this stage in their life need to have some kind of protein. So I just went to Walmart and bought a few chickens. I'm gonna try giving them some chicken. First myself, I'm gonna eat a little of this. Then we're gonna throw the bones and everything in the ponds and they'll pick them clean. I'm sure they'll eat this. I'm sure they'll love it because at this stage, they are starting to not want vegetables anymore and they're gonna be frogs in the next two weeks probably the vast majority of them so we only have like another two weeks of making videos of them eating things and they're starting to get to the point they do not want vegetables anymore most of them will not eat it anymore they want meat products they love the cat food last week they love the turkey we threw in there last week so we'll give them some of this stuff and this might make an oily sheen on the water, but we flush the ponds every other day or so. That oil will just skim right off the top as it floats. And these with, with seasoning and stuff on them, they're not going to care. They really won't. So I'm going to eat a little, then we're going to bring it outside. All right, everyone, that was a big chicken. I couldn't even finish half of the first one. So all this is going to go outside with me now. I'm going to break it up with my fingers and we'll put it in all the tadpole ponds. All right, I just threw a ton of chicken in all the ponds, and we still have one left over. That was way more than I expected it to be, just that one chicken. So like I said, it did leave an oily sheen on the water, but we'll just give it a flush. It'll skim right off the top and right out as it overflows. They absolutely love it. Look down there. They're all swarming around it if you can see through the oily sheen on the water. They're swarming around it. They absolutely love the chicken. That'll help them grow really fast. Yeah, that oil is creating a very bad glare. But they love it. They're swarming down there. All right, back over to the other pond. Rose bushes are starting to flower over here. This bush looks like it may actually recover from the deer damage. This has been flushing now for like four hours. We'll let it go a little longer. Down at the bottom of this pond, it's crystal clear now. You can see the tadpoles down there. They love the chicken. They're swarming around it. I put some pieces up here hoping they'd come up for a better shot. They have not yet done that. Those will not stay at the top because I don't want the bear to come over here and smell that. The lettuce from our last video, they absolutely hated the type of lettuce I grew in the yard. I also personally hate it too. I only grew it because it came in a big pack of seeds. I don't like the fancy lettuces either. Look at this a little teeny frog right there. Today we're supposed to have another huge downpour. Look at them. They're little teeny things all over the place. Yesterday we got like three inches of rain and like less than 20 minutes. We had a, I made a little flash flood video I'll post, post soon. Day before we had another couple inches of rain in a short period. It's supposed to happen here again in like an hour. We're stuck in that kind of pattern now. Thunderstorms and downpours late in the afternoon, but I like that. Today and yesterday was fairly dry throughout the day. The rest of the forecast looks considerably more rainy, so I went ahead and made sure to mow the lawn today because I don't think I'll get another chance in the next week or so. So they do like it. The chicken was a success. I think this new water coming in may be scaring the tadpoles into not coming up to the surface. That might be the, the issue going on right now. But most of the frogs were good today. Any of them I saw in the grass I just avoided, but the vibrations made most of them go away. Oh, we just scared that guy. So all this oil will quickly just go away as the water circulates it right off the top. And it'll just get broken down by the... There's so many microbes that live in these pools. This is not the first time we put something greasy in here, but this is definitely the greasiest item. It'll go away fast, and we even have a garden spider up here to catch mosquitoes. For the foreseeable future, this big pond, we don't have to flush it at all. Because... Look at that. There's a good amount of water coming out of the basement right now. Probably a couple gallons a minute, right? So we threw some chicken in here. I tried to throw it into the shallow areas. And yes, they're eating it. It's a much bigger pond, so you can, can't even see the oil sheen. It's spread out thin enough. And I know there's some pieces that fell down into the deep area. Look at all the tadpoles here on the surface. 
they haven't even discovered what we threw in here yet. It's a good amount of them. So today was definitely a success. The tadpoles are down there and they love the chicken. They're all over it. I just turned the hose on here. This will slowly trickle for the rest of the night. It's an empty hose. Oh, there it just started. It took like five minutes to get there. So I hope today's video was interesting and thanks for watching. Have a great night.